Hi guys, I'm in Liverpool for a few days. I'm really excited because it's been quite a while since I visited Liverpool. And today I am going to be going around all of the Beatles' childhood homes, as well as visiting Strawberry Field and Penny Lane. So it's a very packed, busy day today, but I'm really looking forward to it. And I've just arrived in the hotel, which is an Ibis, but it's all decorated with a Beatles theme. And we seem to be on the Strawberry Fields floor and just look at this room it says forever and it's completely decorated in strawberries i love it this is the t-shirt i'm wearing today i really love it i got this on my first visit to liverpool years ago i just wanted to show you this this is at the front of our hotel room and we have john lennon's face on all the doors This is where it says Strawberry Fields. I really want to check out the other floors and see what the other themes are. Might just do that in a minute. Five is the long and winding road. I would love to know what all the different rooms look like. Just going to ride the lift now. And this one is Abbey Road. You see in the sky with diamonds. Yesterday we have a Paul McCartney face. Ticket to ride. Last floor. And finally we have the Fab Four. Oh, I like this one. Never had so much fun riding a lift. <laughs> I am at St. Peter's Church, which is the location where Paul and John first met. And it's also the place where they have Eleanor Rigby's grave. And I'm just going to go and look for the grave now. And here's the church. I have been here before, but it was a long time ago because I live about a three hour drive from Liverpool. So I don't go here as much as I go to London. So today's very exciting. Nice shot of the church here. And here is John Kenzie's grave. Yeah. Eleanor Rigby died in a church and was buried along with her name. Somebody come in. I was just speaking to a couple of really friendly locals and they actually told me something I didn't know that Paul and John didn't meet in the church they met just across the road at this place here so it's just across the road from the church here we'll just look around the back This place was once called St. Peter's Church Hall and it's now called Simon Peter Centre. That does make some sense actually because I did wonder how they could be performing amongst the gravestones. Just spotted a sign saying that John Lennon used to swim in this building behind me. You discover new things at every corner here in Liverpool. I am now at Strawberry Field and when I first came here this part which I'm going to now was never open I could only film the gate and so this is the first time I've been here and straight away I see a gift shop these are the badges I've been looking for everywhere I'm going to be spending a lot of money here I think 
I have been searching for these. Oh, they're so cool. Oh, these are cute. Strawberry filled handmade necklaces. <laughs> Here is John Lennon's handwritten early draft of lyrics for Strawberry Fields Forever. I'm just in the gardens now at Strawberry Field and I've really picked a good day for it. It's really nice weather today. We've got the Strawberry Fields song lyrics around this place as well. No one I think is in my tree. I mean it has to be fine. I'm singing again. <laughs> My sister's running away from me because I keep singing and it's really embarrassing her. I love it here, it's so peaceful. I've picked a good day to come to because there's hardly any people here. I've just been following the path and it's now taking me into this little wooded area. From Strawberry Field, we're now walking to John Lennon's childhood home, which is at 251 Menlove Avenue, which is about an eight minute walk from the Strawberry Field. The houses are a lot bigger along this road. I'm near John Lennon's childhood home now, but unfortunately, it has construction on the outside of it, which is a bit disappointing, but still gonna get some photos. But still gonna get some photos here.
Yeah, unfortunately, the blue pack is being hidden by the work. So whenever I visit Beatles locations, there always seems to be a place that has construction going on. I am now going down Fort Flynn Road, which is where Paul McCartney's childhood home was, and he lived at number 20, less busier road here compared to Menlove. And here it is. This is it. We drove here and it's the closest house from John Lennon's. So John and Paul lived quite close and George and Ringo live a bit more of a distance away. The next location we're planning on going to is Brian Epstein's home, which I'm really excited about because I've never been here before. Now going to 197 Queens Drive, which was the house of Brian Epstein's family home. I'm guessing it's going to be quite a big house. This building behind me is the house. It is along um, a busy road. I am now on Penny Lane and in front of me is the fish and chip shop. And I also saw a statue of John Lennon as, as we pulled into the streets. So I'm going to go and have a closer look at that. Walking down Penny Lane now and at the bottom here is the roundabout where the pretty nurse sold poppies in a tray. And there's the roundabout. Behind me is St Barnabas Church which is just at the end of Penny Lane and it's where Paul McCartney used to sing in the choir. And here we have the famous barber shop on Penny Lane. We've come across this little area here, which is really cool. There's a yellow submarine behind me. Picture of John and Paul. And behind me, we have the fire station. There's a very popular spot behind me because here is where Paul McCartney signed the Penny Lane sign. Oh. Here is Dubdale Primary School, which was the primary school of John and George. And this school isn't far from Penny Lane. I'm now going to 12 Arnold Grove, which was George Harrison's birth home. And there is a blue plaque on the house. And there's the house with the plaque. It says George Harrison, 1943 to 2001, musician and songwriter was born here.
heading to Ringo's childhood home now and just across the road here is St Silla's which was his primary school. Ringo's birth home and his childhood home are both really close to each other. In front of me is the pub that appeared on Ringo's first solo album, Sentimental Journey, and it's all been graffitied at the bottom. And it actually says up there, this building appeared on the sleeve of Ringo Starr's first solo album, Sentimental Journey. And look at all the graffiti at the side of the building. There's a huge picture of Ringo. And just down from the pub here is Admiral Grove, which is where we'll find Ringo's childhood home. And it's just down here, it's number 10, and I remember it's a white and pink building. Here it is. This is number nine, which was the birth home of Ringo. That's the house there with the red door. I remember when I came here years ago, that house was actually all boarded up, which is what I was imagining it looking like, but it's actually a home now. I've just got back to the hotel. I've had a really fun day and I'm looking forward to spending the other days here in Liverpool. Thank you very much for watching. I will be visiting other Beatles locations for the next few days and I will be filming. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!